racing has been happening for over a hundred years and in that time the industry has been male dominated. My name is Jessie Milberton and I started stock car racing in 2008 at Mendez Raceway driving an old style Mini Cooper. Motorsport has a range of different categories from rallying to drifting to stock car racing and we have met women racing in these categories. Women have been present in most sport for a very long time. From the first female F1 driver in the 1950s, Maria Teresa De Philips. Resterò sempre la prima donna ad aver partecipato ad una gara di Formula 1. All the way to the former F1 Williams test driver of today, Susie Wolf. Lotus test driver Carmen Jorda and Dancia Patrick of IndyCar and NASCAR. There are many women involved in other aspects of motorsport, from car design, to pit crew, to PR. Um, there's two different sides to me really, there's the business aspect of me, I sort of turned into a little bit of a businesswoman at the moment which is good, but also I've got the very serious side of me, my motorsport career, and I started when I was 13. I race uh, V8 4 litre Morgan uh, with the Aero Morgan Racing Challenge and have done so for the last 11 years. Well, my name's Angie Harris. I'm quite old, I'm over 50. <laughs> I've been racing for 40 years. I drive a Sierra Special Rod up here, but I've done bangers, probably lions. Well, I'm Gail Hill. I'm the chairman of the British Women Racing Drivers Club. I'm known mainly as a Jaguar racing driver, classic Jags. So XJS's, XJ6's, XK150's, as well as a few other things. Um, but Awesome Annie is my 1965 uh, Mustang Fastback. Um, I, I bought the car this year. I decided life was too short, cashed a pension in, and bought this. There are many preconceptions that come with women who race, and many of those come from their fellow racers. I enjoy the competitiveness of it. I like driving against the men, but they don't like it very much. Um, and it's just a release because I've got a disabled son and I can come up here and just let my frustrations off. And, you know, I'm a real slow driver on the road. I'm a 30 mile an hour jobby. But when you come up here, you've just got no restrictions, no way you have, but you, you know what I'm saying. And it's just. Just do it. When, um, if I'm doing coaching work or I'm working with an event or a manufacturer or something, whatever it may be, I'm probably the last person in the lineup that they think is going to be their driving specialist for the day. It does get a different reaction. It's not something that most grown 40 or 50 year old men are going to expect is a 23 year old blonde girl teaching them how to, to drive. Um, so it does get mixed reactions, but I think once people realise and it's quite clear as soon as they get in car with me, I know what I'm talking about, then there isn't you know, there isn't any problems at all. But again, I don't think there's any difference in that to how it is for a woman at the moment in a normal working place. Even jobs that are within motorsport that aren't necessarily dictated by gender. Men are happy to, well, to have a good old battle. They don't care whether they're fighting against a, a, a female or a male on the track. It's, it's, it's the car, it's the ability of the driver. And you know, it has come and possibly still in the slightly the age group that I'm messing with is <laughs> still there. But again, they will respect me for, for my ability to drive. But with the younger, your age group, much better. I mean, of course, it will always still be the, the old person, but I mean, generally speaking, I would say it's an awful lot better. And there are an awful lot more girls out there racing. The 
motorsport should be a gender neutral environment, but it's important to consider how personalities affect the way we race. Offensively, defensively, or a mix. But what is the key to being quick? I think focus is the, the key to it. You've got to be focused and it's very hard to sort of turn around to someone who's 10 or 11 and say you need to be focused, they're so young. But at the same time, if a, a child, and that's what they are, can get themselves around a go-kart track at that age, then I think they have got the mental ability to kind of realise and hone in on these core things, not making silly mistakes. I know it's a big thing at the moment, but you know, thinking about your profile, just trying to make yourself the best at what you can be, your fitness training, everything, just make yourself the best. You always want to be one step ahead of everyone else. I wouldn't drive with women again, no disrespect to women, but they're not as aggressive and competitive as the men. So, you know, it, it, that's quite a hard question because I don't want to put the girls down because the girls I've seen drive are really, really good and I love it when they come into to the sport, you know, and there should be loads more. You have to want to get her in the morning, you have to want to unload your car, unload your tyres, make sure the car's running. If the car's not running like it wasn't this morning, I had to open the bonnet, get my head stuck in and sort it out. Especially when you're on your own and you've got no boys around you. You have to be one of them girls. You have to care. You don't don't care about your hair. You don't care about your makeup. You don't care about your nails. I've taken all mine off because of, I had my nails done once. I lifted a tire and I lost three. And I was like, do you know what? I don't know why I bother. I don't know why I paid money. Think, live, breathe, makes it all. Throughout my time in stock car racing, my family was my biggest support network. My parents and my brother never missed a race, and my dad would always help me fix my car after I crashed it. Support networks are important to any racer, whether it be family, sponsors or clubs like the British Women's Racers Drivers Club, who helps women achieve their motorsports dream. So basically if you're, if you're coming, if you're wanting to get into motorsports as a female, BWRDC is a great way to start because you contact the club and whichever uh, discipline you'd like to get involved in, be it karting, uh, rallying, hill climbing, road racing, um, I'm sure there are other ones, we will cover all of it. We have somebody within the club that knows how to get started, which is, and once you've got started, you know, how you can improve, offer help, you know, a lot of support. There are 32,000 people licensed to race cars in this country, and less than 1,500 of them are women, which is absolutely daft because once you're behind the steering wheel, it doesn't really matter what sex you are, it's all down to skill um, and experience. And it's completely madness why people should think of motorsport as a male-dominated sport. It shouldn't be, it is, uh, and um, the club is there to, as a support group for women. There are only 5% of women who race license holders you know, in rally, race, hill climb, sprint, uh, karting, and that's a tiny number. And so, and because it is a sport where men and women compete equally, uh, I just think the club needs to try and do everything it can to promote women in sport. I think that um, stock car racing is very family orientated. That's why it doesn't take a great deal for 
a family to have uh, a race car. It's not as expensive as other racing disciplines. It's, uh, it's something you can do in the garage, at home or on the drive. But, uh, we, we aim everything towards families and that's probably, I like to think, that's why girls are comfortable. We have met many an established driver, but we went to Mendes Raceway to meet the next generation. My name's Dawn Edwards and I race Junior Rods. I'm really Ruby and um, I race Junior Rods at Citroen Saxo. Well, Mendes Raceway is one of about 28 tracks in this country that short oval racing is the, is the description of what we do, which is effectively too many cars on too small a track. That's what oval racing is. Mendips Raceway is one of three in the southwest and has been here since same time yes it comes with its pros but it also comes with its cons so it's just balancing it out um, I don't think personally it's affected me in my career in a bad way as today I think if anything if you use it in the right way it's quite a powerful tool to have so I think it's for the best really and I wish I had more of us in it. Um, well one disadvantage is uh, I don't know one end of a spanner from another I'm not afraid to admit it so if something goes wrong with the car or needs a bit of tweaking I don't really have the skill to do that, um, which is a downside. But the upside is only 5% of license holders are women. So I'm in a big minority. And at the track, if something goes wrong, there are 20 blokes willing to lend a hand. And I'm not ashamed to say that, you know, I'll, I'll you know, flirt a bit and I'll get the car fixed by someone else at the track. So that's an advantage. People say, well, yeah, are, are, are women any good? Well, are men any good? You get rubbish men drivers and you get rubbish women drivers. But on average, the women drivers are better because in order to have got there, they've got to have some talent. So in general terms, I'm afraid women are better than men at motor racing. Did I just say that? No matter what setbacks women have faced, they have and will persevere with their racing careers. You just want to race, you just want to get out there and do the best you can, and if the lads don't like it, then tough. I said, I'll give it up when I can't work. I'm too old, that's when I'll give it up. But until then, drift. Well, let's get more girls in it, eh? Hey? 